Hey, how are you guys? Are you ready for St. Patrick's Week? Yay! I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, and we send you love, especially this week, green love. Mmm, green little hearts everywhere. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. It's so wonderful. Everything is happening the way it should be. Happy St. Patrick's Day on Thursday with the moon in Cancer, which it means it will be very loving, very tender, very joyful. And I'm a Cancer, so I'm going to party. This week, the sun is in the sign of Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Happy birthday to you. The moon will visit the signs of Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. On Ash Wednesday, Jupiter, planet of good fortune, will make its first fabulous angle to the big powerful planet, the planet uh, Pluto. That's the one that really rule world affairs. And it's the planet of global powers and also finances. All happening near the spring equinox. Very significant. The second time will be like in June, that same kind of aspect. So we're going to get that little feeling this week. And that's really, really great news for all of us and also for world economy and world peace. The U.S. political scenes will become even more full of surprises and maybe a broken convention in the Republican side is possible. One thing for sure. The front runner, their front runner, will be more challenged again, and the truth is coming more and more out, and it's not pretty. And don't worry, be happy. Uh, the light will conquer his dark at the end. And don't forget to move your clock frontward this Sunday at 2 a.m. local time. And also remember, we are in an eclipse period month, which means to be cautious in everything you do. And don't sign any important documents. You can negotiate, you could look, you could uh, uh, plant some seeds, you could make phone calls, but don't close the deal before March 28th. Don't sign anything truly committing before March 28th. If you receive money, that's good, but if you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna have to front money, uh-uh, not before the 28th. Also, this is a time, these eclipses are so powerful. They're so amazing, especially with the vibration nine all over it. It's like stamped with a karmic spiritual little magic. So it's a great time to all to do everything we can to truly be the best we can be. Make the changes, let go of the stuff, forgive, forget, and choose love over everything. That's the only way to be because that's what we are, love. Leos, there's hope in the air. Jupiter's blessings in your financial sector definitely opens new doors and gives you some new push you need to move forward. You have new exciting possibilities coming your way. Grab your colleagues, go out for lunch, pitch your ideas or a special project to your heart. People are listening. You discover also new ways of doing things and express your creativity like never before. It's quite amusing and wonderful. Some exciting change is definitely in the air. Just go for it all. On the weekend, your goodwill really makes people happy and it brings magic back to your life. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers, three and 16, ta-da! And now here's your wizard affirmation for this beautiful St. Patrick's week. Very exciting from the stars. Gustav Jung, great, 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 great avant-garde psychologist said, who looks outside dreams, but who looks inside awakens. Think about that this week. Happy St. Patrick's and we love you all the Irish people of the world. And be good now, go dancing, have a nice beer and ta-da, happy St. Patrick's, right Angel? Happy St. Patrick's, we love you.